The Retirement Halftime Show. Maintain your lead in retirement. You're watching the Retirement Halftime Show, and I am your host, Alexander Joyce, and I am with Alex Clark. And Alex, we always like to take questions from our viewers, okay? We think it's extremely important. Uh, we always want more questions. We'll do our best to get your question answered. Um, so what do we want to start with, Alex? Uh, let's start with Mike from Fishers, and he has a question. Do I still need life insurance? Sure, Mike from Fishers. Um, you know, we, we, we love having the life insurance conversation, okay? Um, it, it is often a misconception that the older I get, the less life insurance I get. Now it is certainly factual that, um, Mike, if you are a breadwinner within your family and you've got children, whether they're teenagers or whether they're younger children, um, and if you are the breadwinner and you've got a mortgage and you've got auto automobiles and you've got college to pay for, even if it's, if it's creeping up or not creeping up, um, it is very important to have life insurance if your assets aren't, um, aren't, aren't mature enough, if you will, to allow your family to maintain, sustain their style of living without your existence. That would be difficult. Um, we would feel the same way, I'd feel the same way. Um, any person, male, female, um, should take on the responsibility of making sure, um, not just leaving a legacy, but allowing your family to maintain their, sustain their style of living. That's significant. Um, the other part is um, understanding the, the differences between life insurance, right, uh, Mike? So there's term insurance, which you're renting the insurance, as, as we like to call it. It's very inexpensive. You're buying a pool of money. You're buying death benefit. And then there's universal life and what's called index universal life for those that are looking at life insurance, depending on your age, of course, looking at life insurance, more of a savings vehicle, an alternative way um, to pull money, an alternative way to have tax-free money, an alternative way to save assets, an alternative way to, to have a tax-free income outside of a Roth IRA. So depending on um, not just your risk tolerance, not just your debt load, not just your age, but depending on your entire situation, looking at it holistically, that would give us a better definition of um, is life insurance for you? And if so, what type of life insurance would fit within your overall portfolio? The next question comes from Ron in Greenfield, Alex, and he wants to know, how can I determine if I can retire? Sure, sure, Ron. That, that, is, that is a great question. And um, you know, retiring is a goal that everybody has, and everybody really has the same question. We've got that question over and over. Um, can I retire? And I, and I think, Ron, that it's 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 larger than um, how much money you have, right? So to us, that's probably the secondary factor. Um, what's probably most important to us from a planning perspective, outside of the dollars and cents behind it, of course, that makes that makes the world a difference in terms of longevity and making sure that you never outlive your money, which is our responsibility as your advisor. We want to know more about your risk tolerance to get there. Okay, we want to know more about your goals. For all we know, um, your number one goal in retirement is to take your 401k, pay off your house, buy an RV, and hit the road. Right, so if that's your if that's your plan in retirement, and you've got X amount of dollars, um, sometimes the the hardest thing we can tell a client is you can't do it. But I hope that every single person viewing this can understand where we come from in terms of honesty. That's what you want from us. Even if the question, even if the answer is no, you'll want to make sure that you can rely on us to continuously give you the advice that you deserve and that you need in your retirement. Okay, so risk tolerance is greater than maximizing growth on a scale of one to 10. How important is that to you? We need to make sure that if we asked you, uh, Ron, if you lost 50% in the market, understanding that you need 100% just to break even, how would it make you feel if you lost 20% of your hard-earned money? Those are the types of questions that we need to kind of, kind of pull out of individuals to get a better understanding of their overall risk tolerance knowing that taxes play a part, knowing that estate planning pays a part, knowing that having a defined direction in retirement makes the world of a difference. And that to us is called a rejoice roadmap. And that's what we want to supply or give to every person viewing this. And keep those questions coming. Absolutely, we love hearing from the viewers, Alex. Absolutely, if you've got questions, if you've got something in your retirement that's bothering you or keeping you up at night, don't hesitate to pick up the phone. Let's get those questions answered. Keep those questions coming. Stay tuned, the best is yet to come. The Retirement Halftime Show. Maintain your lead in retirement. I'm Alexander Joyce, President and CEO of Rejoice Financial. If you're in retirement or near retirement, with all life's changes, it never hurts to get a second opinion. Managing expectations is the foundation of a prosperous relationship. Our goal is simple. We want to get to know you. 
So pick up the phone and make an appointment for a complimentary visit. There is no cost, no obligation. We simply wanted to get to know you and see if we can add value to your life in retirement. We can discuss topics like income planning, sequence of return risk, taxes, and estate planning, social security maximization, and much more. Let us help you develop strategies that can develop a successful retirement. If you want to know more about successful retirement strategies, then call now, schedule a visit, and let us help you rejoice in your retirement.